we've talked to you quite a bit about Aaron and AJ through the course of the offseason. I'm wondering about some of those guys who might be in the running for that, that third running back spot, what you've seen from them a couple days in the past. What, what, as far as Kylan as a rookie, how, how's he kind of come into camp? And, and Dexter being a, a few years in now, how far has he kind of come? Yeah, I think there's great competition for that third spot. Um, Kylan has done an outstanding job, you know, a rookie that – has a lot of athleticism. He's very explosive. He's able to put his foot in the ground and and uh, make that one cut that we're looking for. I think he he has really soft hands. Um, it's great to get Patrick Taylor out there. You know he brings a lot to the table in terms of he's one of the more intelligent players I've ever been around. You should see that the way this guy takes notes, how detailed he is. He's got a great understanding of what we're trying to accomplish. Um, I think he's got really good hands. He's he's great in pass protection, uh, but he just ha he needs more reps. He hasn't really been out there a whole bunch. And then I think Dexter, he's another guy, man, that has come so far, and he's one of the hardest workers we have on this football team. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of opportunity for for those three guys in particular in the preseason to get a lot of carries. We'll we'll try to feature. Um, those guys throughout, not to say that Aaron Jones um, and A.J. Dillon might not play, or, or I, I can't say they're not going to play, but um, I, I definitely think A.J. will get in there a little bit. But uh, for the most part, you're going to see those three other backs get the bulk of, of the carries in the preseason. Mike Clemens. Good morning. Um, when you're working on uh, penalties, prevention of penalties, uh, when will we see referees? Will they be out there tomorrow night? Are the NFL refs coming? And looking over the new rules for this year, the two to me that stood out were probably the alignment and onside kicks and then blocking downfield, which goes against everything. Coach Heineke talked to us about a Blake Memorial High. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike, uh, you will see officials uh, tomorrow night at family night, except they're not NFL officials. They're going to be uh, – I think they're Big Ten officials, but for the most part, I think that you know they'll do a good job of, um, you know, officiating what we're trying to get accomplished. And then we kind of went over all the new rule changes as a team yesterday. And you're right, the the one that is has the greatest impact on the game is is the low block rule, which right now is within the tight end box. So they said two yards outside of a tackle. Um, five yards downfield, five yards behind, behind the line of scrimmage. And we showed the guys um, just plays from last season, more so on the offensive side of the ball uh, of what would be considered illegal blocks now. And that's a big time penalty. You're talking about a 15 yard penalty uh, for that. But this morning went through some of our clips from last season on the defensive side of the ball, whether it's on screen plays, whether it's, um, you know, some of the bounce schemes or what we call transportation schemes where they're pulling tackles and you got a corner having to take a, a tackle on. Um, and a lot of guys are taught to cut those tackles. Well, if it's outside of that that zone now, that's, that's going to be a foul. So um, it is going to have a significant impact on the game of football, I believe. But um, we'll have a uh, another opportunity we're going to have NFL officials come in when we when we practice against the Jets and they will talk to our guys about the rule changes um, you know and we're going to pull up those clips and let them tell us because there's a couple of clips in there that are real close it looks like the offensive guy is trying to cut and the defensive guy is trying to cut at the same time it's just going to be interesting how they officiate some of those calls. Morning, Matt. Um, I, I realize tomorrow is a practice, nothing more, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. But it, it, is it is it more? Does it mean more to you guys, or is it just nothing more than a practice to to go over? Well, yeah, Bill. It's I would say it's yeah, definitely more of a practice. It's going to be great from an intensity standpoint to have the fans back in Lambeau. I mean, we have all missed that so much. It's going to be great to just feel that energy, that excitement. Um, but at the same time, you know, it, it'll probably be uh, somewhat vanilla in terms of, 
because this is this is going to be televised and there's going to be some stuff that you know new wrinkles on in in all three phases that we don't necessarily want to show um so but it will be a great opportunity to just watch our guys to go out there and compete against one another and then you know provided that we're in good physical condition then you know we might have some a, a live period at the end you hey, met uh from a uh football iq standpoint how has uh amari rogers been through the uh first couple of weeks of camp and how much can you put on his plate first starting from the slot and then is there will he also work outside at some point yeah tom um uh, you know amari is he's been around the game for a long time uh, i think you know there's you can tell he's a coach's kid uh, he's got a great feel and sense of, of what's going on. He really works at it. He studies really hard. We've thrown a lot at him. We're not holding back um, in terms of we've got him in a few different roles. Uh, but primarily, I think, you know, he will be more in the slot and then we'll use him, uh, you know, doing some of the jet sweep stuff and, and whatnot. But, um, you know, I'm excited about where he could go and – we got a very, very, very competitive room, so it's going to be, it's going to be kind of fun to try to come up with different packages for these guys, uh, and try to put all those guys in that room, you know, in the best position possible for them to go out there and help our football team. Mark Daniels. Hey, Matt. How are you? I'm good, Mark. How are you? You know, with the release. Fortunato, Matt, uh, do you plan on, you know, carrying the kicking competition all the way through camp, or would you like to have the specialists kind of settle before you head to Buffalo to wrap up the preseason? No, I think the more competition you can, you can have throughout camp, the better. And um, competition, it'll, it usually brings out the best in everybody. So, and we want that at every position. But, you know, I, I do know that it's probably rare that you've seen six players um, – you know, six specialists on a roster, and a lot of that was – it just depends how healthy we, we can stay. I know Goody and I are in constant communication in terms of, you know, what we need to do to get the the looks that we need from, from every spot. And, you know, it, it always can throw a curveball at you when you have guys start, you know, racking up injuries at a, a particular spot. And that's kind of what happened with, um, you know, the re releasing of Joe. I was just wondering what you've seen, your impressions so far of Devondre and just how important it was to get a veteran in that spot to kind of help out some linebacker. Yeah, Steve, uh, Devondre's been, he has been lights out. He's done a great job. I think he's done a really nice job of picking up what we're asking him to do at a, at a pretty quick rate. I think you can see the instincts that he has, and he's very, very fluid. Um, you know, you, there's been a couple instances in practice in terms of his ability to, whether it's as a blitzer, whether it's in coverage, um, he's, he's a, a very, very good athlete. And, you know, it's not surprising. I, I had uh, two years with him in Atlanta and, and got to see him then. And then, you know, having gone to L.A. and, and played against him um, in that 17th season in the playoffs. So... You know, Dre's a guy that I've always had a lot of respect for and, and think he's a, a really good football player and he's really going to help our defense. We'll do two more. Chris Rock. Good morning, Matt. Um, yesterday it sure looked like Jay Sternberger flashed a little bit. I'm just curious what kind of camp he's having so far and how he's handling uh, his situation. Yeah, Jace has done a really nice job. And, um, you know, he's come in. He's a little bit heavier than I think he, he's been been in the past but it seems like he's been able to keep his speed up and uh, yeah he, he made some really good plays yesterday some really nice catches in the one-on-one -on -one period and um, you know it's going into year three for Jace so it's a big year for him and and it, there's a lot of expected out of him in terms of just his ability to go out there and perform on a consistent basis and that that's what we're really looking for from him and I think he's done a nice job and you know, I, I think that room as a whole, you're talking about the guys in front of him with, with uh, Mercedes and Bobby have, have done a nice job of kind of taking them under their wings. And then 
also Justin Outen just putting the time in with Jace and getting him to understand exactly the whys behind what we're trying to get accomplished. Last one, Rob Demosky. Hey, Matt, I'm, I'm not going to pretend to know anything about Chauncey Rivers, but somebody told me they thought he'd be a really good fit for your defense. What do you guys see there? Um, I'll be honest with you, Rob. I don't know a, a lot about Chauncey. I know, um, you know, that was just more or less – Goody saw an opportunity there, and, and we snatched him up. Now nothing's official yet. He hasn't even been here. But um, just talking to our defensive coaches, there was a familiarity with him um, from a couple years ago or whatever, and, and they were excited about it.